Hi friends and welcome to my channel Moxie DIY in Java. My name is Michelle. Today's video is part of the what would you make challenge and the premise behind this is that everything has to have a wood element to it. So I hope that you like what you see. Grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and join me. I saw this bag at the Dollar Tree in their wedding section and I fell in love with the creaminess of the whites and just the pastels. It's very, very delicate looking and I had to have it on the wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree. So check it out. Okay, to get this DIY started, I spray painted the sides, well, I was mainly focusing on just the sides of these wooden hearts with my favorite, Ivory Bisque by Rust-Oleum, and it matches the white on this bag perfectly. Now, because the hearts are as big as they are, I'm not going to be able to use every single letter from only one bag, so we're gonna need two bags, and then we're also going to utilize the sides of one bag and attach that to the back of the hearts. Generally speaking, these hearts are pretty rough around the edges, so I did sand them before I painted, but I felt like they needed another good sanding. And I'm just using the diamond nail file that I got from the Dollar Tree, and it does a really good job for detail work. Now I'm going to trace out both sides of the heart on the bag. Now for the back, I chose to have the wood grain show because I think it looks really pretty with the design. And also once we put the stands on the back, I think it will go really well. These are all done and now they need a stand and we're going to use these really pretty stems. I think they're called stems. They come in a package, but they're birch wood and they look really, really pretty with the colors that are on these pieces. Some of these needed a little extra help with standing up and so we're going to use little pieces from the bag and create cylinders that we're going to use to make an additional base. And this way it blends in with the, with the piece itself but also it will give our piece something else to stand on besides just the birch wood. Our E needed a little extra help as well, so we're just gonna follow the same steps. As mentioned earlier, this is part of the What Would You Make challenge, and it is an open invite for any YouTuber or any creator that wants to participate. And our hosts are Zaina of OK At Home DIY, Connie of Connie's Creative Creations, and our guest host this month is Tammy of Happiness Created. Not only are these ladies absolutely lovely and so sweet, but they are very talented and creative. So please go check out not only their channels, but also the playlist.
Now this DIY was inspired by my friend Kendra over at Late Night Creations. I'll link her channel down below. She and I met for lunch one day and she was so sweet to give me all these spindles and amazing wood pieces and I had to use them and I found this really cute pink heart at the Dollar Tree and it had the wood grain on it and it was perfect. So I knew that that is what I wanted to use with these. So check it out, see what I did with it. First and foremost, we're going to stain this wood piece from the Dollar Tree. Now, I did fill in that hole with some hot glue, and I filled in all of the holes in today's project with hot glue, and truth be told, I really should have used spackling, but I didn't, and it is what it is, but it worked out anyway. So I stained the whole piece. These are the hearts from the Dollar Tree that I really love. The wood grain is not only something that you see, but you can feel it too. So I'm just gonna fill those holes in and then paint them with this paint set that I got. I think it was from an ornament kit or something, but the pink was perfect. Now, I don't know if you've had as hard a time as I have finding the, the beaded heart wreaths, but I can't find them anywhere. So I found these and they actually are the same color as my spindle and now base. So we're going to use these and I'm showing you how to create a heart shape easily with a round beaded wreath. Now that I have the center of my base, I'm going to use a three and a quarter spade. It kind of looks like it's a drill bit and it makes a really big hole. And that's what I used for this. So that way it would sit flush. I also put a brad nail through the base. So that way it would be really sturdy. And now what I'm going to do is I found the center of these hearts and I'm going to attach them to the spindle with not only wood glue, but also with my staple gun. There's a point to this base and I want the point of the heart and the point of the base to be facing the same way. I do get a bit ahead of myself here and you'll see later that I wind up taking the hearts off of this platform just because it's easier for me later. But what I do is I end up putting two staples into this and then I go over them with this pink. Now I'm going to attach the beaded heart and I'm going to use hot glue initially and then we're going to go around the sides with our spackling and this is to make it look like it's actually one piece with the hearts. really do love how this stain looks with the pink. I don't know, it just looks so rich. Kind of reminds me of chocolate and strawberries. What do you think? Now comes the fun part. I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm gonna mash this spackling along the sides of the hearts so that way those look like they're one piece and also along the bottom of the beads. And again, this is to make it look like it's one cohesive piece. And I do clean it up, but I'll show you how I do that in a little bit. But once it's dried, I'm going to use the same pink paint that I've been using to paint that spackling so that way it, again, looks like it's one piece. For the detailed cleanup, I use a paintbrush that is wet but not dripping wet with water. And I just go over the beads and if a an area looks like it's too thick with the spackling, I'll press it down and maybe into the space between the beads. And then once I have gone through and I like how the detail work looks, then I will take my baby wipe and wipe along the outside.
And there we have it. Once it's dried, I'm going to paint it and then reattach it to the pedestal. Please comment down below and let me know which one of these is your favorite. It's really hard for me to pick because they're, they're completely different from each other, but I think I like the heart on a pedestal just because of the really cool look that the pedestal gives to the piece. But don't get me wrong, I love the L-O-V-E hearts as well. Well, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And until I see you in the next one, take care.